Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 21 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to start off this episode by planting ourselves a garden. So as you can see down below, I dug out a little um, hole there, a little plot for us to place some garden or farm plots. we got three more cooking up here. We already have 19. And uh, we're going to start by planting potatoes and corn first, and then probably thirdly, if we have room, coffee and then probably fourthly aloe vera seed or maybe shrooms actually can we can you still plant shrooms anywhere oh you can Ooh, you can do that okay um then if that's the case which apparently it is let's at least for now Plant some mushrooms in the attic here. You could you can't do this in undead legacy. You have to actually put the mushrooms in a a crop plot. So that's why I wasn't sure about that. Okay. Um so corn and potatoes are the most important things because we need those to make the stews, you know. So we'll prioritize them first. So let's put the crop plots down here. And I think that gives us nine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, so that gives us 18... 19, 20, 20, 22. Okay, so that gives us 22 spots. So I think we're going to hold off on... That's 23 altogether, right? Yeah, okay. So for the first batch, we're going to do just potatoes and corn. Or reason I just stated. I mean, if we have to, we can always run to the desert to get more um, aloe. Not that far away or that difficult to do. And then, of course, we'll keep collecting uh, spoiled meat so that we can keep making more crop plots and, and fill this out a little bit more as time goes on. Not sure if I've told you guys this or not. Maybe I have, but I'm not entirely sure we're going to stay at this place for this entire playthrough. Uh, if we do, then it is my intention to fix it up. But, you know, several episodes ago, we went and did a house that was just a little ways out of town that I really, really liked. And um, so it's possible that we'll, we might move to that place as our permanent residence. But I, I want to get started right now with with you know gardening so because we can make almost all the all the food now uh, we're just waiting on spaghetti and and um, gumbo um yeah one more point one more magazine and we'll be able to make spaghetti and then 10 more and then we've maxed it out so um you know I wanted to get started with the food now just so we can start providing some of that stuff and not relying completely upon loot for it. That being said, though, uh, I realized that over here, just across the way here, um, I guess my bike's out in front because I was doing a little bit of digging over here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, is another one of those um, fir Fermier residents? I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Fermier or something like that. And I didn't actually loot that garden, so let's go get it, because we'll get corn, potatoes, and blueberries, and, uh, well, those three things anyways. I think, did we get a fourth thing from it? Well, we're going to find out here in a second. No point in speculating when we're going to find out here in just a second, right? Uh, it's right over here. Yeah, it's corn, blueberries, and potatoes. Okay, yeah, so let's harvest these. Come on, stamina. You get lots of potatoes from here, but 
they all only have three green corn plants. But that's fine because corn is the most abundant vegetable you can find in seven days anyways because it's just all over the place. Whereas potatoes, not so much. Or blueberries, not at all unless you're... Unless it's in a garden like this. But you can't find them in the wild. You have to go to the snowbound for that. So, All right, cool. We have five cans of sham, uh, of sham, so that means we should be able to make five sham chowder stews. So let's grab water, corn, potatoes, and five cans of sham chowder, or no, just sham sham. Put some of this in here, and let's make it. Sham chowder is so good. I mean, it gives you 80 health, but it also gives you plus one fortitude. And it's got a decent amount of food too, so it's um it's one of my favorite foods in the game for those reasons. Okay, we'll put these seeds back up here. And I have a I have a sham chowder here that we looted as well. Excuse me. Um. Okay, so that uh, take care of all of that stuff. Let's get all of our stuff on our toolbar. And did we take, we took another, yeah, we took another infestation at A1 Auto. So let's go ahead and head on out and do that. And hopefully we don't get screwed this time and not have stuff in the loot. And I have my cobblestone blocks with me this time and some sewing kits in case we get lacerations. Uh, let's see. Do we have repair kits? Yes, we have some repair kits. We got two stacks of ammo. I, I did put the drum mod on here. So now we have the drum magazine mod on the AK for 60 rounds. It basically doubled its capacity. And that is really going to help when we're being chased by those ferals and greenies. Oh, you know what? Since we're seeing greenies now, we should probably put our rad remover mod maybe on the shotgun yeah i think we're going to do that since we you know we are starting to see the greenies by the greenies in case you're not clear i mean the glowing you know irradiated zombies because all we have to do is shoot them once with the rad with shotgun and then that prevents them from healing for a long long time i don't know exactly how long it is but long enough for us to kill them so let's go into. Oh, I made a a, a separate ammunition box because we 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 ran out of space. So now this box is exclusively dedicated to ammunition, and this is tools, weapons, and mods. So let's grab this rad remover, and we're gonna put it on the double barrel. Um, or we could put it on here. No, no, I don't want to do that. We're gonna put it on here. Okay. So modify. We'll take the crippler off and put this back on. And now this shotgun will nullify irradiated zombies from healing. It's a beautiful thing. We'll just save that for something else later on. Very good. Oh. Did we? Yeah, okay. We're good. All right, I'll see you guys over at the quest location. Check this mo power truck. Three wirings, nice. A tier one basic electricity. What does that give us? Um, nice. So we can make generators, electric fences, traps, relays, light bulbs. Oh, very cool. What's what's that thing? What's that thing that shows up down there? Oh, prob probably fluorescent lights, I'm guessing. Okay, great. That was awesome. This is a new POI. I don't remember an A1 auto in the game before, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll take that. We are going to continue to loot 
spoiled meat as much as it makes sense to do so. Let's hit this stuff over here. Yep, I'll take that. Light bulbs are, or headlights are really good for selling. You need them for a few things, but not in, in great quantities. Okay, let's get this party started. The sedan changed from green to, well, it looks kind of red to me, but it said purple. We never looked around to see what was in back, but that's all right. Now that's not part of the POI, which is good. Because then we can safely put stuff in here and not worry about it getting destroyed on a quest reset. Or a POI reset, I should say. Uh, that and that and that. Let's see what's in the van here. Uh, that. Don't care about those. Uh, yeah, I'll take both of those, and that's not part of the POI. All right, let's do this. Hopefully, uh, we'll have our infested crate at the end of this one. Yeah, I was a little bit uh, salty about not having that in the last one. As I've mentioned to you guys several times, um, I'm like way ahead of you now in terms of, um, well, yeah, way ahead of you in terms of the videos. So if you ever leave me a comment and it doesn't seem like I'm uh, acknowledging it like in the next video, it's, it's because I haven't seen it. Uh, but I do try and respond to all comments on the channel. All right, so we have a normal Arlene and a Greenie. Have our chance to use our shotgun here. There, now he can't heal. Can we get... He can hit us standing up here, so we gotta be careful. Tough mofo. There. Okay. Some corn. We are encumbered. Bathroom. Not lootable. Drop a few things uh, off in the dumpster here. Okay, that door's locked. Um, okay, so if that door's locked, ah, here we go, okay. I uh, actually don't want either one of those things. Loot the car here. Uh, those and those. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll take those two. I don't know why I'm taking them, because I can make those so easily now. Bouncers. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that did a whole lot of good. We're playing Run Around the Rosies. I know we have a, a white. I don't know if we have a... Oh, uh, yeah, we do have a feral. It's him. Oh, I have to remember I don't have to reload this so quickly because we have the drum mod on it now. He did. Okay. There's still a couple of dots in there. It's almost it got stuck. You know what? Let's get this on the toolbar. And uh, just a crawler. Okay. All right, so hopefully we cleared out this garage. Are we hungry? Yes. Let's eat this to give ourselves some healing as well as food. And let's take one of those for hydration. We already looted that. Everybody loaded? Okay. You used to get the potential for engines when you took those apart, but I left my ratchet back at the base, so better heat resist, less cold resist. Um, okay, hold on. Let's go here. I think I'd rather have better heat resist, so we'll take this off of here. Put this on here. And then we'll wear this. Scrap that. Because it's not worth much. Yeah, I should probably come back here with my ratchet and see if uh, we have a chance of getting an engine out of those. Hey, we got a skill point. All right, let's check the Mo Power Truck. There's a vehicle. Nice. We're starting to see those. And pipe baton quality, electric fence dart and blade. Thought we already unlocked those. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, well, we did now, so we're good to go. I hear a trap, a flame trap. Okay, harvest, harvesting tool, repair tool. Uh, nice, we've got a wheel and some gasoline. Let's take a look at the point. So let's see, we put that point into... I can make steel tools now? Yeah, we can. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. Did we just hit that and I missed it? Boost load odds with minor 69er. Yeah, okay. We might want to make a steel pickaxe and just see how it compares to the blue iron pickaxe. It might be better. Anyway, uh, let's see. We were doing points, right? If we go here into intellect. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna put a point into Mini Bike Master. It's going to get us more magazines more quickly, but it's also going to allow us to use uh, less... Repair kits repairing. So let's just do it. Okay. Hope that was the right move, but you know what? If it wasn't, we did it anyways, and it doesn't matter now. Because it's a done deal, baby. Some nine mil ammo. Yeah, there's the flame trap there. Uh, there's the valve. Oh, no no no, turn it back on. Turn it on, please. Ah oh, shit. I Heck, come it. All right, we only have one feral, so let's just uh, deal with him.
You did, right? Okay. Ah, shoot. We should have left that on. The zombies would have gotten burned. But it doesn't let you turn it back on once you turn it off. Bummer. Okay. There's a trash thingy up there. That door's locked. We'll take those. And time to go downstairs. Alright, nobody apparently in this room. Nice. I hear another flame trap. I think. Okay, this time... Let's see if we can get the Zeeks to run into the flame trap. Alright, let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak right here. I think we hit the guard. Uh, the... Alright. Uh, yeah, this is hard. We're, hit we're hitting the drum. The fuel drum there. Alright, well let's just wing her then. Lots of feral whites in this building. Well, not lots. That's the second one. What the hell? Hey, where'd you come from? The hell did he... I don't know where he came from. Phew. Okay. You better take advantage. I don't know if uh, they hit the, that flame or not. May maybe they did. It was just a little chaotic when they started attacking, so I didn't notice. All right, how do we turn that off? Oh, right here. Yeah, they had to have run into that. Got all the arrows back. A little medical supply. We can now make recog. That's good. Uh, let's get rid of this and this and that. And this. Guess we'll take that. Not that those are hard to make either, but. Up into the backyard. How much you want to wager there's a dog back here? Or two? Yeah, look. Okay, the last time the dog appeared out of thin air. Of course, we were up on the fence, but still. If the dog's there, the dog's there, you know what I mean? Bullshit. Spawn back in. Uh, spawn in. Oh, lots of red dots. Oh, that's a live one right there. Well, he's not technically alive, but you know what I mean. Alright, any more opportunities for sniper shots? I think that's a zombie there. Nice. Okay, so we eliminated two of the four. Um, let's see if we can thread the needle. another dog uh, yeah his head's right there
Okay, that takes care of all the enemies here in the back 40. Come on, give us some more engine magazines. Oh, we can make nail gun quality three. Nice. Oh, we should harvest these guys. Oh, that was a dog too. Okay. I couldn't tell from the distance we were at. Well, I don't know if I want to throw 60 bones out. Why don't we make another one of these and throw those out? I want that cement, so we'll throw the paper out. Okay, I'll take that. Plastic. That door is locked. We were already in there anyway. There's something up on top of here. It's an ammo pile. Um, don't have any more of those. I'm going to actually leave those. Okay. I'd like to go offload real quick because we are maxed out before we go up on the roof. That's all iron that we can't pick up. Oh, I missed that. There we go. Door's locked. Wait a second. Right, yeah, we came through here. I want those. So we're going to get rid... Well, we don't have to get rid of anything. Let's just go unload and then we'll come back and grab them. There will be no zombies on this roof because it's half blocks. Well, there could be on the vents, but not down here on the blue part. Oh, yep, we got a greenie. A greenie in a feral white, it looks like. All right, I think what we're going to do with these boys and girls is we're going to light them up. Everybody loaded. Whoa, how did I... Have I used that much ammo? Mm, I wonder if I must have put my ammo in there. There's no way we've used that much ammo. Okay. Here with a shotgun. Okay, I still see yellow dot over there. Um, you know what though? I'm going back down because there's no way we used up all that ammo. I yeah, okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, uh-uh, that's not possible. We'll just pull back up at the same spot that we dropped off here. Oh, you know what else I, I need to put at least one point into is demolition. So I don't think I've done that yet. Okay, so we have something over here. I don't know what it is. I can't see. That's it. 
Okay. That kind of scared me. Oh, good. We got an infestation chest. So I wonder if, again, if it's just that um, Joey's car lot is, is borked on that. Okay. Let's check the meds. Nice. Pull this down. The ammo. We'll break open these guys. There's a vehicle magazine. And we find a lot of wheels here. I already have four at, at least back at the base. So we'll have no trouble making the motorcycle and the 4x4 four four and the mini bike and all that stuff on the time cups. Um, let's eat this now. And we'll take the rest of that. And then finally, the infested cash. Very nice. Take it. It's a good good way to supply yourself with ammo. All right, let's go back and do the turning. How's it going, Jen? The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. All right, we need to drop something momentarily so we can get the reward from her. Um, let's just drop these, I guess. Good job. Okay. I knew you could do it. Painkillers, magazine bundle, forge steel. Um, let's take the, the magazines, I think. Okay. And then take a look at your inventory. I'm going to sell you this and this and this. And... I think that's all I'm going to sell to her at the moment. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Before we pick that back up, let's open these. Two bow hunter. Wooden bow four. Um, that The wooden bow three was actually on par with this. It was better in a couple ways than not. So I wonder if we made a, 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 a green one, if it would be better. And Oh, good. Look, two vehicle... Magazines, fantastic. Let's look, here. Let me pick that up before it goes away. Let's look at this here. Vehicles. All right, so we are one point away from being able to make the mini bike chassis, and then uh, however many more points we have to do to get to the handlebars. So we're getting close. We are getting close. You have no more infestation jobs. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a normal. I need someone who's willing to... The goalie residence. Yep. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give, we'll give you, you employee, employee of the, the month. month. Okay, so we're going to... We took a, a tier three from her, but I want to go over to Hugh and see if he has any infestations for us to do. But uh, we are out of the time in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to wrap things up here. I'm going to run over to Hugh, see what he's got. And we might start the next episode uh, doing an infestation for him. If he doesn't have one, then I'm probably going to come back to the base and maybe just do a little bit of work around here, I suppose, for the rest of today. And then we'll pick things up uh, the next day, the day, uh, day 31 in the morning, and probably just go do some more quests. So... That is the plan for now. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.